Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So we're out here working on our 71 Cuda again And as we start to wind down on the sheet metal work for this car We're left with a lot of the smaller pieces and panels that I've been putting off for a little while and it's not because they're really hard to do It's more they're just small panels and they're not that exciting to do <laughs> So today we're gonna knock out. We've got a rear footwell pan and then my friends at AMD hooked me up with brand new outer rockers and uh, you know my style typically you guys should know by now I tend to cut out a lot of metal in most cases probably more than I ever need to but we're gonna do the famous cut and butt today and we're only going to cut out the faces of these outer rockers the reason being when we cut out the floor pan we saw how nice of condition the inners were and really like on the inside of the doors and the bottom of my seams here everything is in really really nice shape it's gonna clean up and uh, you know we're not gonna have an issue with that so when we open these up we'll of course coat them we'll pour 15 then we'll clean them up to make sure that uh, you know there's not going to be any rust forming in the years to come but before we start slapping our rear quarters on we absolutely have to address this you don't want to cut it up you don't want to fill it with ramen noodles and bodywork over the top of it okay t-bone will probably beat me to death in my rocking chair when he goes to open this up in the future and if he were to ever see something like that i'd be in big trouble so this side a little bit worse Okay, we're gonna have to cut it up a little bit further forward, but you know the fronts are in really really nice shape So we'll probably do the back half of this one the uh, driver's side probably about the back third But uh, both of them the process is exactly the same And I hope to show you guys a few tips and techniques to make it a little bit easier for you Because it can look like an intimidating job, but I promise you guys it's really not that hard to do So without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's fit up this rear footwell pan get it marked up drilled out and welded in
All right guys, so now it's time to address these outer rockers here and they're really kind of the last eyesore on the entire car. And uh, you know, a lot of you guys may find yourselves in this exact same position, but you may be doing full outer rockers, but um, I know a lot of you too just want to cut out whatever's rotted out and keep the factory sheet metal or at least as much as you can. And that's what we're gonna do in this case. Now, you know, a lot of this metal is really good. It just seems to be like the face of the rocker, okay? So here's the brand new one from AMD, of course. It's a beautiful work of art. And uh, yeah, I honestly, I wish I was doing the whole thing, but there's just too much good metal here to waste time and, uh, and cut it out, okay? My doors are set here. I'm very happy with how everything's fitting so far. So what I'm gonna do, I ended up measuring about two inches or so in front of kind of the worst spot you got to figure there's probably some more rot that's just uh, outside of this first hole right here but measured from there all the way to the back side right here and what we're going to do is just cut off you know basically what we need to to uh, to make it fit now back in like the 80s and 90s restorations k what a lot of people would do is fill this up uh, with either you know a new piece or just a flat piece of sheet metal bondo newspaper you name it they would just completely fill it in a lot of people will not go through the time and the hassle of butt welding it but that's what i'm going to do because i want it to be a factory you know as factory as possible seamless finish across there and then also take advantage of having this entire face open and pour 15 every square inch of the inside of those so we don't have to worry about rust for years to come okay so on this i've already gone ahead like i said i measured it out you can see that line right there i'm gonna cut this rocker in half if you guys need a front half let me know I might know a guy and I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna save this body line here across the top save the one across the bottom we're gonna keep just a little bit more than what we need because then we're gonna fit it up onto the car and we're gonna only uh, well, I'm gonna show you guys how to cut out and uh, set this up so that way we can butt weld it really nice <laughs>
All right guys, so I've got the driver's side all wrapped up here and I'm really, really happy with how everything turned out. I am going to apologize right off the bat here. Unfortunately, while I was cutting, I sent sparks directly at the GoPro and it completely fried the lens on there. I don't have a backup one. Normally I have a couple because it's happened a bunch of times. So if there's these little fuzzy dots around the screen, I'm really sorry. But let's take a look at it here. Hopefully the fuzzy dots can't um, get in the way of how damn good this outer rocker looks. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with it. Now the Eastwood uh, contouring tool, the SCT, uh, really makes this look like a brand new, it looks like glass. It looks like absolute glass because the entire thing is uh, sanded down and uh, you know it's really uh, metal finished and now ready for epoxy over the top of that. But you can see guys our door gap across the bottom of that, really, really nice. A couple of you guys pointed out, I think this is a bullet hole in the door. Um, I'll have to pop out my clamp and see if there's a, an exit wound on the inside of the door. But this thing was in a field in Missouri for like 30 years, so there's more than likely a bullet rolling around in there or an exit hole out the back side of the door and it's floating around somewhere in the car. But, uh, but yeah, now I've got to repeat the process on the other side. I will tell you guys right now, it's very time consuming, okay? But, you know, good things uh, come to those who wait and especially those who put in the work. So this side is going to need a little bit more cut out here. Just like the other side, we're gonna cut out, you know, probably about two inches in front of this uh, front hole here. Not that, you know, right in front of it's bad, but we're just gonna get into very good metal. I definitely noticed while I was welding the other side, um, you know, especially across the top that was good. And then also, you know, further front or the further forward that I went on it, it welded in beautifully, no burn throughs whatsoever. I did have to back off the heat towards the back of this, but, um, but yeah, it all turned out really, really nice. But, you know, this side, I am gonna poke around here. Actually, let me grab my hammer. This is not, not the best. So we're probably gonna come really close to the back side of this. You know, in hindsight now, guys, I wish I would've done these. And I think I said I was going to do these before I welded in the damn wheelhouses because I would've rather have just done the whole thing with the flange. But this is what we got, this is what we're dealing with. And uh, good Lord, I can just push my hammer straight through that. And no, that is not a drain hole. I guess it could be down. <laughs> it's plenty of drain holes in this thing as you can see but uh but yeah let's go ahead let's get some measurements done and uh we'll cut out the new one and just keep on trimming it keep on fit checking it until it fits just right screw it into place cut it out weld it up and finish this job up so let's get it done
All right guys, and with that, the outer rocker panels are completely sectioned in. And overall, I am very, very happy with how everything turned out here. All of my reveals in the bottom of the door there, the body line across the bottom of the car, everything from the original car metal to transitioning to the new AMD metal turned out really, really nice. Here on the other side, this patch is a little bit bigger here, and uh, we have yet to do, can probably do a little bit more refining up in here, but the rest of this, guys, it turned out really, really good. So, you know, this is still going to get epoxy over the top of that. It's going to get body worked over the top of that. So, you know, but it is clean enough. The transitions are good enough that you will never, ever be able to tell that that was done on the car. Looking at the bottom side here of our rear foot well panel, you can see here, you know, my overspray for my weld through primer. But where the front of my frame rails are here, we've got a nice tight fit on both sides. We've still got some cleanup to do here. Once I get the car on the rotisserie, flip it upside down, you know, and that said, you know, every single panel where I test fit everything, you know, we're going to have these screw holes that we're going to have to go back through, dress out, grind down, and clean up so we can move this thing onto body work, make it a roller. And again, no matter what the state of the car is, July 22nd, I will be at the Evanston Car Show with this car in Evanston, Wyoming. And uh, yeah, should be a roller by then, absolutely. And possibly even moving under its own power with its brand new drivetrain that uh, is going to be in the next video that you guys will see probably by the end of this week. So what comes next, guys? You know, this is really a big turning point for us. I will say the rust repair is done on the CUDA. So it's a huge, huge step and a great feeling. Um, you know, we've got a lot of cleanup still to do here, but you know, after I show you guys kind of the parts donor for this, where the engine and transmission and a lot of other things are coming from, the next thing is going to be prepping out and slapping on these rear quarter panels. I've also got my trunk support. You guys can probably see it up in there. It's already test fit in and screwed in, of course. And uh, yeah, guys, really, really happy with the speed and uh, just the quality of this build, the way it's turning out is really, really good so far. So hope you guys are enjoying it. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned because the next video, you guys are gonna see a lot of tire smoke and uh, really excited to show you guys the drivetrain donor for this Cuda. See you guys next time.